Hey, I'm Elizabeth Stewart of Crossing Creeks Farm, and this is our chicken coop. These are our sons, Caleb and Noah. Who do you have here? Uh, she doesn't have a name. She doesn't yet. have a name. Does she have a name? Happy. This is Happy, and this is she doesn't have a name. <laughs> so this is our chicken coop. Right now, we've got probably close to 120 birds in here. Um, a lot of them are under for right now as they're just enjoying the shade of the um, This coop was built by the Mobile Chicken House and we've had it for a, probably about a year and a half and it's been amazing. So one of the features that you'll notice immediately is the solar panel and that helps to run things inside like the feed auger. It gives us lights um, if we need it in the winter when it's darker out and our chickens have really really loved it. It's fully mobile so we move this with their fence pretty regularly at least once a week every five to seven days give them a huge area to forage and graze and coop those with them and they do really well with that. It has automated doors on it as well as uh, a conveyor belt that rolls the eggs out to us on the outside. So let's take a look inside. So here are the automated doors. There's one on both ends of the coop. There's one over here and one over here. We set a timer on the inside and those automatically open first thing in the morning for the girls to come on out. They have a ramp here. These ramps stay down all the time except for when we are moving it, in which case we lift them up, secure them, and move the coop. This is the hitch for hooking it up. We're able to move it with our side-by-side, um, -side, our larger ATV, and it moves great. Here is the egg conveyor where we collect the eggs. We've already collected most of them for the day. Uh, Kayla's going to show you how that works. And there's fresh eggs. It makes it really simple. And our eggs are staying cleaner, which is really nice. So let's take an inside tour of the coop. Inside, we have rollout nesting boxes here for the girls. We have a large amount of roosting bars so they can get up and roost high in the night like they like. And in the back is a really large water tank. Gravity fed into some um, waters in here. And then there's a, also on the very back, which we'll show in a minute, is a grain bin holder that augers the feed into here. So we'll get you a little bit closer inside and I'll show you the back. So here's inside the coop. So here we have uh, the roosting bars, the lights, which we can time on and off, uh, but we also use them just for in the winter when we need to check on the girls. These are the feeders, the water tank there in the back, and then we have a nipple water system in here on the back that they can get to. It also feeds out into a bell water outside so they're outside they can also drink without having to come in. Here are their um, nesting boxes and so this coop is actually rated for I believe up to about 300 birds. We don't have that many in here right now. We're adding more this um, fall but we've gone between 100 and 200 really comfortably with the girls. So this is the inside of the coop and we'll show you the back. So this is the back side of the coop. As you can see, there's that second door for the girls to come in and out, as well as this ramp. Uh, this is the back side of the conveyor belt here. Caleb here is up on the ladder, which comes with it um, for this large grain hopper, which holds quite a bit of feed. We'll bring our feed out here in bulk and fill it up, and then we're good for a couple weeks, which makes that really nice and easy. This is their outdoor bellwater that is coming from inside that water tank. So they have fresh water outside and inside. And as you can see, it's underneath it as it provides lots of shade. Thanks so much for checking out our coop here at Crossing Creeks Farm.